Welcome to Sunny Day Stamping. I'm Julie Baca. Today I'm going to show you how to use this fantastic bundle, the Alphabest bundle. It's a stamp and punch bundle. It's so versatile. It comes with every letter of the alphabet. And I thought that is such a great value because I can use that with any stamp set um, I have. I can use it with any card if I want to write a specific name or phrase. So I, I just wanted to share that with you and I've got a bunch of um, tips on how to use that also. I also thought it'd be fun to play a game. The, I have four cards to show you. They each feature a name of a character from some of my favorite 80s movies. So I thought uh, it'd be fun if you want to try to guess what those are and post a comment below. Oh, one more thing, <laughs> I almost forgot. If you are watching and it is July or August 2022, that is celebration time at Stampin' Up, which means for every $50 purchase, you get to pick something free. Um, out of this little brochure. Um, you also accrue My Shopper Rewards. So it's a really great uh, time to purchase items. There are links down below to shop um, and you can also go to my online store to shop sunnydaystamping.com. Now the July to December mini catalog is also live. So if you make um, holiday cards, this is the time to buy those. You can get a, a head start, but you also accrue these My Shopper Rewards and the freebies. So it's a great time to purchase those. So here is this awesome stamp and punch bundle. It comes with all of the letters, all of the numbers, some other decorations, and these really cool outlines and um, decorations that this punch uh, punches out perfectly. Now to buy them as a bundle, you do need to use the right item code. Just by putting the stamp and punch in your cart does not give you that 10% savings that you get on a bundle. You have to use the specific item code and I've got that um, on my website or on the project sheet. Now this is the color palette I used for all of the cards that I'm going to show you. I just used the same inks and cardstock, but for today's um, example that I'm gonna show you, we're just gonna use this color palette um, with some tw uh, of these in color twines. It comes in a pack of five with all these colors and I use them on the other cards. So I'll show you that. All the measurements for this project and every project I make are over on my website, sunnydaystamping.com. You can also purchase the supplies right from there. Now for my email subscribers, I email them out this a one page project sheet that has all of that information on here, links to the videos and um, also links to purchase from there just to make it easy. Now, if you'd like to sign up for this, you can, uh, there's a link down below to get these free project sheets. Um, and if you're looking for the free project sheet in the email, there's actually like a, a heading that says free print and make project sheet and you click the download button in the email. So my first tip for using this stamp set is because look at all the stamps. There are so many and I'm so afraid of losing them. Now, when you open up your stamp set, hold on, I'm gonna show you what I did. The inside, the way they've printed it is actually like this. So um, when you take off your stamps, you put your stamps on there. This was extremely hard for me to figure out when I was trying to spell something <laughs> to try to find the letter because they're all jumbled up and they're also reversed, obviously, because they're stamps. So I took this and I made a photocopy of it so that I could slide this. I'm not gonna do it right now again. Slide this in so all my letters were in order. Now, they don't fit perfectly well like this because it, um, it's not utilizing all of the space, but th that just made it easy for me. You can see that there's a pocket here to slide this in, which takes a little finagling, so I'm not gonna, oh, hey, oh, I did it. So for my project today, I wanted to use the outlines around the letters. I just love how that looks. And I found as I was I was messing with this, I found the easiest way to do that was actually to do the outline first and then stamp my letter inside. I was able to get my letters a lot more straight that way. Now, one, another tip, this is a very thin, um, a thin stamp, it's very delicate. So when you're pressing down, don't swivel. I'll show you, uh, oh. Darn, I did it right. <laughs> Let me do it on here and see if I can swivel it. You can see that you can blur the lines because that's so um, delicate. So just stamp right up and down, straight up and down. Now, one thing I didn't put in the supply uh, list when I was showing this to you was that um, you just need a one inch piece of scrap paper. 
So I just stamp all those really quick and then I go and put in my letters. So now you want to make sure when you put your last leather letter away, go ahead and scan and make sure you have all those stamps in there. It would be horrible to, to lose one. And actually that's a great practice to get into for any stamping, but particularly this set because there are so many and they're so tiny, easily to be lost. So now we're gonna punch these out. I love this little punch, so easy to use. So you just take your strip and now it doesn't matter that these were stamped straight on your paper because you're gonna use your other hand here to maneuver this paper to be lined up. And then I kind of give it a little pressure with my thumb, double checking that it's lined up before I punch. So it's only going to let you do, well, the way I'm doing it, the way, the way I stamped it, it's only letting me do two. So I've got to rip that off before I stamp again. One of my concerns with this stamp set was that, um, you know, if I'm going to be stamping out like maybe like a whole happy birthday, that's a lot of letters and it would take me a long time. It really, really doesn't, especially if you do it the way I did it, where you stamp the outline first and punch them. It really is quick. So now we've got our name, Josh. So be thinking of what 80s movie, and I'll give you a hint. It goes with this name, Josh and Susan. So if you can guess it, put a, put a comment down below. So now I'm going to bring in the Biggest Wish stamp set because I'm going to create this background. This is not um, designer series paper. We're going to create our own. Now with this stamp set, I find that sometimes I don't. it doesn't stamp as well as I want it to but the solution is putting it on a hard piece of foam. This is the stamp and pierce mat. It gives just the perfect amount of um, pressure. Oh my goodness, I made another mistake. So this, um, I forgot, we're doing tone on tone. So I'm also actually gonna be using this Daffodil Delight for this card also. So the same color paper with the same ink. Oh, actually we're gonna do this card. Are we doing this long way? No, we'll do this card this way. Okay, so you're gonna ink up your happy. So I'm gonna write happy birthday on the back and I'm gonna just put the happy up here and the birthday down here. Oh, I pressed too hard. Look, it's coming through a little bit. I think that'll be okay with this card though. But if that bothers you, you can flip it over and do it again. So I'm not gonna press as hard. There, that's much better, okay. Now we'll get our birthday out. Oh no, I already got it done. I was so prepared. Okay, here we go. One thing is this stamp set, is this stamp pad is new, so it is extra, extra, extra inky. So I am gonna push that off to the side just using a, this um, disposable spoon here. I'm gonna wipe this on my Simply Chamois so I don't get this all over my table. And I'm also, because I already inked this up with the really, Inky stamp, I'm gonna stamp pad, I'm gonna redo this here. So I'm gonna put this down here. Oh, that that see how much better. See how this is like oversaturated and it's kind of um bubbly almost because there was way too much ink, and how that is just so nice and solid and even in the color. So that's how to solve that thing. Now, now we're gonna take off these block letters from this half biggest wish. And I'm going to put in the cursive. So we've got birthday in cursive. And where's the happy in cursive? Here we go. So I'm going to decorate in all this um, open space with the cursive just to give it a different look. And I'm going to stamp it off the paper. It is totally, totally fine to... Um, stamp on this stamp and pierce mat. You can wipe it with your Simply Chamois afterwards, or you can just rinse it with some water. And that's what I do. <laughs> I just rinse it and pat it dry. Now, just for fun, I'm gonna bring in this Alphabest um, has these cute little stars. So you see how there's just this little spot right here. I'm just gonna put some stars there for Love it. Now we're gonna set this aside and I'm gonna bring in the card base. 
Oh my goodness. You guys are not going to believe this. I made another mistake. We need to bring in one more color of ink. So you know what? You're going to need all these inks for this card. <laughs> oh, Julie Baca. I got... I just put my thumb directly in there. I'm going to get this out of the way. All right. Now we're going to take those cute little stars. And we're going to stamp around. We're just building an edge around this card, tone on tone. So you don't need to stamp on the inside of this because we're going to layer this on top. So you only need to do that edge. And honestly, you wouldn't need to do that anyway. Here, let me show you what that would look like without the stars. Oh, I really like the stars. <laughs> Okay, so let's add these to our card. Now, my original idea with this, I got to be honest, was for these to just be free, free flowing and not stuck down. But oh my goodness, it was such a pain to me to um, glue these or tape them to the thread. So my solution was to use Stampin' Dimensionals, and I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, what you want to do is find the center of your word. Now, if this was a five letter word, this would be easier, but it's an even word. And we're going to find the center of our thread or twine, whatever. We're also going to put this on our card where we want that to dangle down. Now, because I don't have a center letter, we're going to put them off to the side like this and the easy way that I thought of was to just use Stampin' Dimensionals. They are adhesive on both sides, so it's going to be a double stick tape situation. And just push that down on your thread. Now, if you had a five letter word and so you had a definite center, um, center letter, I would put just that one letter first and then line up the rest of the letters there. Now, in order to give it a drooping look, instead of it being straight across, you're just going to pull your thread up like in a V, like a necklace, turn this over, and then just use some regular tape to just tape this to the back. And you're not going to see this ugly tape behind here because we're going to um, glue this down to our card base. So let's double check that it still looks good, that these are even. Yeah, there we go. And I might have done that a little too tight, so I'm just going to pull it a little bit because I want it to... Uh-oh, I pulled that too much. There we go. All right. So now you're going to take your... Oh, my goodness! <laughs> Come. Why are you giving me troubles? There we go. I think I'm going to tape it a little closer to the edge. There we go. All right, now add your Stampin' Dimensionals to the back of these. Now, I'm only using one because I didn't mind this being... Uh, drooping down unevenly but if you want these to be at all the same level I would put two Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of here. Now I'm just going to tie a little um, bow because we're going to add it to the top of this little bunting so it looks like it's tied up there. This, this twine makes it so easy to make a nice bow because honestly, I'm not, I'm not good at this and it, this made me look good at it. <laughs> so now you can glue that with glue, but I find the easiest way is to use a little mini glue dot. Just press your ribbon to it to grab it off that paper. And then you just kind of want to fold in any excess. And I'm just going to stick it right there. Now we'll add this to the front of our card. And you could do it straight on, but I kind of like it a little slanted. Now we'll decorate the inside of our card. And I think I'll use... Mm, oh, actually, I'll use the blue. Actually, I'll use the yellow and the blue. We're just going to use those little stars again. So here's this pair of cards. You can see that you could use this personalized stamp 
set to make wedding cards, birthday cards, any kind of message that you want to create. Now, which 80s movie characters are Josh and Susan? What about Wesley? And this is probably my all-time favorite 80s movie. What about Mikey? So leave me a comment below with your guesses on these cards. Again, I used this same color palette to make, I mean, you could make a ton of different cards just using this same color palette. If you liked my video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. You can also subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified every time a new video of mine comes out. Um, if you love all of these Stampin' Up! products and you want to get them at a discount, really consider joining Stampin' Up! You get their starter kit and during July and August, you also get this gorgeous planner. It's in the celebration catalog if you want to take a look or you can go online. It really is the best deal. You buy the starter kit for $99, you pick $125 of products of your choice, and then you get that bonus uh, planner uh, during July and August. And then every purchase after that, you get 20% off. You can cancel anytime, you don't have to sell anything. It really is the best deal. If you've got questions on that, you can reach out to me at my website, sunnydaystamping.com, or just leave a comment below, and I'm happy to answer your questions. Thank you so much for watching. Have a sunny day.